Welcome back to another episode of Catch and Tie. Today we're going to be tying up this little lightning bug with a lot of flash to it, real sparkly. We're going to tie it with non traditional fly tying materials that, if your wife's a quilter, you might already have laying around the house. However, she was at the quilt store one day. She called me up and said, Hey, there's a bunch of this metallic thread for sale on clearance. Would you like some? So I told her to get me a bunch. And she did. It was a good price. You can use it for a lot of things. You can use it for the, uh, in place of the uh, ultra wire. Where it's a, it works great for that. We're also going to use this ribbon material for, you see, on wedding presents and such. Normally you just cut it up to smaller pieces here and use it with a little ice dub and some regular thread and this goose biot. And that's about it. We're going to go ahead and show you uh, the fish first. Still part of the day of the last time I went out, uh, I think it was last week or even before that. Still haven't been able to get out with all the things going on in the world and a lot of rain also. It rained pretty good again today. So first we're going to show you the fish. Then we're going to show you how to tie this fly. Real simple fly. So stay tuned for that. If you want to learn how to tie a super effective, very easy fly. Alright, here we go. Come on, jumper. Hey, you're a jumper in a hat. Take. Feel lightning bug. He's a All right, let's start tying this fly. Go ahead to start your thread base. Cut away your tag end. And bring your thread back to the top of the bend of the hook. I'm going to make just a little bit of a ball there. Just enough for your uh, biots to separate. That should be enough. Go ahead and bring your thread back. Good tiger biots in. I'm gonna do one at a time here. In our last video I used biots, I did them together, but these are little smaller ones here. A little more difficult to handle. These are goose biots. Same on the other side. Try to make them the same length. And trim it up a little bit. What you want to do is build up a little bit of a body here. Several thread wraps. Just want to make it a little thicker. At first I was making it a little thinner and it just looked a little anorexic. So I've been adding some more thread wraps, thread wraps to it. And it's been looking a little more appealing, at least to me. I don't know about to the fish, but just a little fatter abdomen. Should be enough. Alright, 
from here, grab your metallic thread. Lay it right on top. And wrap it back. There. Go ahead and cut away your tag in. And go ahead and park your thread up to the front. Now, with your rotary function, if you have the rotary, go ahead and spin it on there. I find it easier to use the rotary function than to, is to wrap it around. Pretty much anything I do, I use the rotary. like a rotary vise. You don't have to have a true rotary vise, but I think a rotary vise, for me anyway, does the job I need. You want uh, as close to touching as you can get. It doesn't have to be touching, just fill in the gaps here. UV finish will cover up your sins. Alright, that's pretty good there. Go ahead and tie it off. Go ahead and cut your thread away. Your metallic thread. Yeah, huh? All right. From here, we want to go ahead and put a little of this UV finish on there. I like to cover it up now. Well, there's no other materials on there, so I can get it pretty good. and dry before I start head on it again. Okay. Now go ahead and take that flash material. All it is is just a uh, ribbon. It's starting to thunder outside. I don't know if you can hear that or not. So go ahead and tie that in. wraps on it to uh, secure it on top. Tie it back just a little bit. You're gonna put some that ice tub on there. And you want this flash to be pretty big on top there so the fish can see it. So you could choose a color you want of the ice tub. I'm gonna use black on this one here. That's the color I used on that fish. Don't need a lot of ice tub, just enough to Thread. Put that back in the material holder. And 
take your flash material, right off the top. Okay, that looks pretty good. Right on top, hit the middle. I'm gonna give it a couple more wraps here because I'm gonna cut down pretty close if I can. Try to pull it back a little bit. Pull it up. There we go. Strum it up just a little bit there. Now you can either try to wrap that down, or some guys cut it off with a razor. I don't find it to be that uh, necessary to do. I always put a couple wraps on it. Then once you get the UV on there, it looks good. So, put, get your, uh, put finish tool. Couple whips. Cut your thread away. Get your UV formula. I always take my bobkin and spin it around to get the thread on the bottom there. And zap it. bug of my design. Got the uh, metallic thread, a little bit of that uh, ribbing material for a bow material I guess you can call it. Real easy to tie. Fish like it. I like it. Could do a dozen in no time at all. If you have any questions leave them in the comments. And if you uh, like it please hit like and subscribe. If you don't like it, let me know what I could have done different. Alright, thanks. Have a good day.